Well, it's not often a television network turns the camera on itself, but this evening we're doing just that, and for good reason. Today marks the beginning of our 50th year of broadcasting Southern Cross television across the Spencer Gulf and Broken Hill, and tonight we look back at that half a century of local television. The journey began back in 1968, where the world of TV was simply black and white. Everything was put to tape, then it had to be put to another tape, then it was put to, I think, to another tape, and it went to airs. Fast forward to 1974 and Central GTS BKN was born. Colour broadcasting followed not long after. Television programs have come and gone over the years, but local news has always been at the forefront. Good evening. In tonight's late news, no cause for the Red Hill train disaster, which saw more than 50 people injured, has yet been found. It just keeps everybody in the community up to date with, you know, exactly what is happening in our community. So it's about us, not about the rest of the world. A highlight for many who've worked here, watching young TV journalists build successful careers in the industry. We had many, many journalists who went on to uh, establish themselves in Adelaide and, and that was, I think, a feather in the cap for this station. Seeing the young journalists start out their career with us and then watching them move on to have successful careers in the TV industry. Today, in its 50th year, Southern Cross broadcasts to nine different channels to a huge audience. Right across the region, we've got around about 138,000 viewers. Uh, they span from Port Lincoln up through to Wyala, Port Augusta, down to Port Pirie, and as far as uh, uh, the York Peninsula through to Wallaroo, and then back right up to Broken Hill. So it covers a very big region. Although the years may have gone by, the culture of Southern Cross TV remains the same. It's like a second family. Uh, we're there for each other, we celebrate each other's birthdays and it really is a great place to work. And while it's unknown where Southern Cross TV will be in the next 50 years, it'll be sure to keep up with the times. I think in another 50 years time Southern Cross Television will be even stronger than what it is today. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy what we have in the year ahead and the years uh, after that. So thank you very much. Rachel Nell, Southern Cross News. We've certainly come a very long way. Time now for Fish and Tips.